Hey guys, this is Soulbash. Um, this is more directed to Snail. So, dear Snail, this right here, this was released in a video that was put out early February, February the 2nd to be precise. And it was just some footage I released that was over part of a video where I was talking about pets and farming and this kind of pissed me off after I seen it and I'm actually surprised none of you guys that actually watch the videos consistently seen this through yourself. If you look right here, I was farming for Sun Wukong pet soul shards and you can visually see the item fall hit the ground and the message saying I looted it yet look right here when the loot pops up it's not there this is it, it it's questioning the concept of what snail is doing am i wasting my time trying to do some of this stuff and literally getting fucked over by not getting the actual loot that you're advertising to be gotten in the game and on top of that the loot that is in the game now has been so up priced in the market that it's physically impossible for some of these players to even advance in the game now looking at some of the recent stuff that come out mainly pointing at the anim update which the anim update released a new pet a new mount and some other shit that costs way too much money but the fact is in the store now that single mount they have in a package for $140 are you fucking kidding me $140 for an in-game item for a mount that you're clearly not going to be able to tear up unless you spend continuously to keep getting those shards for that mount because there's not going to be any other way to obtain this stuff so they're cornering the market on what it is basically cash are they just bleeding the turnip in a sense of, I, it's 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 frustrating for a player especially me myself um i've of course i've never tried to be in game i've never tried to be the top i've never been competitive play for this game for the fact of i've spent i spend hours and hours and hours recording this stuff going back editing the footage commentating it publishing it advertising it and not asking snell for a fucking dime from this yet just recently i was speaking with one of the team members and i myself i rarely ask anything of snail of course they do little key codes that i've done with giveaways which i i don't mind doing giveaways at all uh, i think it's great to for me to be able to give back to the community but the fact of i asked to get some item in the game that way I could do a guide on it because literally there is no information out on the internet about what this stuff does and in response I got from the community or not the community but the actual I don't know whoever's in charge over there they come back and said that they would not send me the item because it was worth too many diamonds in the game which equaled to 15,000 diamonds okay at the current time that I asked that I had like 13,000 diamonds sitting on my account and I had no problem exchanging that for the item and yet they still declined because that said item was what they claimed to be worth $500 so not only was I denied that, they just basically blew me off because to them, those pixels are worth $500. And the guide to show people what it's actually about is obviously not worth anything to them. Now, this is not 
a hatred video towards Snell. I've, I've played these this game for over a year. I, I love the game, love the concept. I've been playing games like this since the early 2000s. And for them to just, I don't know, shit on me like that and just basically tell me it's not worth them putting out pixels to get more representation of that item it's it's kind of dumb on their part for the fact of if you go and look i'm pretty sure the majority of the views that have came off of this channel have actually come from tai chi panda videos now yes i do get a very small portion of money and i mean very very small portion but out of those 1 million views if they were to buy ad revenue to get that 1 million views there is no telling how much that would actually cost them and for me to literally have never asked snail for anything aside from something to make a video or content for it's kind of ridiculous that they would just come out and say no fuck you we don't want to give you this because it's not you know you're not gonna spend five hundred dollars to get the item so I'll I'll probably continue playing their games obviously I mean I enjoy playing them but as far as trying to be any some sort of competitive or just I don't know it's become to the point to where I haven't really enjoyed playing the game whatsoever here lately within the past couple months uh because i mean literally the past couple updates have been nothing but money grabs in my opinion and i don't know where they're going with the game uh i'm sure there will be another update within the next couple weeks and to be honest uh, if that update's probably gonna cost you anywhere between 500 and a thousand dollars to actually get anything out of it so snail i hope you do see this this is my honest opinion I mean, I'm not bashing you guys. I enjoy the shit out of playing these games, but do realize you have people that enjoy playing these games for a reason. It gets them away from everyday life bullshit. And then you gonna put in the aspect of wanting people to dump what little bit of extra income they might have into a game and then you're gonna put it out monthly like that on top of them it's just getting a bit redundant and i know I'm going on and rambling and rambling about this but it's just some this is just shit that i've wanted to tell people that i've never really you know spoken to anybody about um yeah uh i'm sure i'll have some more stuff in the future about this and like I said, I hope you guys do get to see this and do realize how bad you're ruining your economy of the game by doing what you're doing. I mean, I literally saw an account on a Facebook group that is a Tai Chi Panda community on there. And the account had spent over $50,000 on the account, which is fucking mind blowing. Why somebody would spend that much on a mobile game is crazy for one but they're selling the account because they're literally not gonna be able to keep up with forking out that much money all right well i'm done ranting for now uh hope you guys can i don't know kind of understand where i'm coming from and we'll have some more videos out later today but I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, you know what to do.